Hey guys, what's up? Got a, another video for you guys today. Uh, this one's not a tutorial, but it is a uh, kind of a two-in-one review over the white sheep leather Nightwing suit. Uh, this thing is totally awesome. And I'll also be going over the uh, Nightwing mask based off of uh, the Gotham Knights Nightwing by Olympian Props. If you guys haven't checked him out, go check him out on his Etsy and Instagram stuff. He makes some great, great stuff. Uh, we'll do the suit real quick. It is a uh, textured stretch fabric. It's very, it's a lot heavier than I expected. It's, it's not, definitely not a, uh, a skin suit. It's, it's very, very well made. Let's see if I can get, so you guys can see some of the texture on it. And I will be uh, putting this on in just a little bit so you guys can see it. it looks like when it's warm. But uh, it looks like there's some uh, extra padding here in the, uh, in the shoulders as well as uh, a little bit here in the chest. And it feels like maybe some of the abs too. It's got some zippers here at the wrist and down here by the uh, ankles. And I think there's also some, uh, some like padding down here on the shin. And it's, it's just, uh, it feels very, very, very durable. Uh, it is uh, double layered, it's got a zipper here up the back. And you can see on the inside there, it's uh, got some mesh. So, uh, yeah, man, it looks absolutely amazing. And it's like there's some other uh, detail pieces here on the leg. You can see that or not. Uh, it's got some knee pads. Extra padding right there. Uh, it's also got elbow pads. Pretty much wherever the uh, armor pieces are. Looks like the, it feels like there's some extra uh, padding behind that. Uh, there might be very thin padding behind the emblem here, but it just looks absolutely perfect. Uh, the shipping and everything on it was actually pretty fast for what it is and the price point on it. I got it with their uh, Black Friday sale, like 40% off. And I ordered that, I think it was like December 8th. And I got it less than a month later on January 5th so I mean the, the shipping on it was really fast honestly for it being an international uh, shipped item and something this quality it's uh, it's it's well worth the money I mean it's I think with the shipping and everything I paid like right around 300 for it roughly uh, at that time anyway I don't know if their prices are going to change or anything or not, but it's it's uh, it's freaking awesome. Uh, I also did just choose the standard uh, medium size, and it does fit me like almost perfectly. And you guys will see that here in just a little bit. Uh, they do have an option for custom sizes, and I believe they can also do uh, custom changes to like I think, I think they can even change out the emblem if you email them beforehand and talk to them about it. But it is, I mean, it's just fantastic quality. I love the, the textured uh, look to it. And I, I am gonna try to put on a, uh, like a muscle top that I made 
uh, just the chest, uh, shoulders, and arm, uh, biceps. See how that looks under and see if it'll uh, fit. Uh, but before we go out of the garage and put this thing on and show you guys in full view, uh, I'm gonna go over this mask a little bit more in uh, detail. It's a flexible rubber. I believe he uh, modeled, he 3D modeled this, printed it, and then cast it. I'm not sure of what uh, type of rubber he used to cast it. But I mean, it looks freaking, looks awesome. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the uh, spirit gum attaching to your face, so I just glue it on the elastic strap just so I can easily uh, take it on take it on and off whenever I need to. Yeah, there's that. So I mean, I definitely recommend that. I'm gonna leave links to. Both of these items in the uh, description down below so you guys can go check them out but uh yeah let's head on get this thing put on before i toss on the suit real quick i just want to give you guys a quick glimpse at the uh upper muscle suit that i was referring to say it's just the shoulders and the uh, biceps and chest and a little bit here kind of around the rib cage just to give it uh support this is an older Muscle suit that I made that was, I was basing off of the, uh, one of the animated series, uh, Nightwings. It didn't quite work out the, the way I wanted it to, so I've turned it into just more of a, uh, generalized under muscle structure. But, uh, it's kind of falling apart for that quite a while. But I think it'll work, but let's get the suit put on. Well, this is the suit in all of its glory. I'm wearing a Gotham 100's uh, Batman superhero boots. It was quite difficult to get this thing on without anybody's help. Get a hold of it. Not quite there yet, almost. But it is possible. Uh, yeah, these are my current Escrima sticks. I will be redoing these. I'm gonna try to make, make some uh, light up ones. But the uh, mobility in this thing is just absolutely awesome. Squat down completely. No issues at all. It's super comfortable. I mean, if you're outside in the summertime, you're probably going to get a little warm in it. Especially if you have like a muscle suit underneath. But you won't be able to show any actual muscle definition in it. But it does give you that, uh, the bulk. Which is why I didn't worry about the uh, ad piece on that, on the understructure. Just the chest, shoulders, and biceps. It really gives you the, uh, Superhero form to go under a suit like this. The gloves are just some cheap tactical gloves that I got from Amazon for like 10 bucks. I like to go fingerless because I like to be able to actually feel like uh, my phone and mess with my wallet and stuff if I need to. Uh, there are no pockets on these. So uh, yeah, that's how it is with most body suits, as you guys are well aware. But I might even uh, like make some gauntlets or something like that, or add the utility belt to it to be able to carry my phone and wallet and things like that at a con when they do eventually start back up. And uh, this is my generic utility belt. The pouches are just EVA foam. The buckle is a uh, resin cast. I do have these available on my shop as a raw cast. Uh, these end pieces are just parts from a uh, Dark Knight belt. And it's all just woven together and glued together with the one nylon strap with the buckle on the back. Just like that. 
doesn't look bad the belt either. Very, very versatile as far as the whole suit goes. It's just, I can't, I can't, there's nothing bad to say about it. It fits great, it feels awesome, it looks fantastic. It is, honestly, this might be my new uh, go-to cosplay when it comes to stuff, because this just, this is just awesome for me. So, I mean, if you guys are on the fence about getting one of these suits, I say go for it. You will not be disappointed. The, the craftsmanship on this is just, just, it's absolutely amazing. It just looks absolutely fantastic. And it, it pairs so well with this style of mask. So, I mean, again, huge shout out to Olympian Props for an, for an amazing Nightwing mask and White Sheep Leather with their amazing Nightwing suit. And it is, it's awesome. Could not ask for anything better. I'll give you guys one more full look at it with and without the belt. And the uh, design does continue on throughout the, on the back side. Well, Alright guys, that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you guys in you know, maybe making your decision on getting one of these suits. Because like, you know, like I said, I recommend it. It is, again, absolutely amazing. You guys have a great one.